This is the video introduction for the Children's Book List Project for Education 270. The purpose of this project is to develop a list of books for the age of group that you're most interested in teaching. This can then be a resource for you in the future in your classroom and also you're going to be sharing this with your peers and building book lists from them. This will help you use content knowledge to build meaningful curriculum in your classroom, which satisfies NACI standard 5A, 5B, and 5C. So we start off with task one. The first task of this project is to choose the age group that you are interested in teaching. You might pick preschoolers, pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, all the way up through fourth grade. This is very important because the age of learner you select will be modeled through the types of literature you choose. Then you're going to go looking for literature. I recommend going to the library or a bookstore where you can actually browse through the books physically. Uh, you also can use some online sources, Google Books through Scholastic, just using Amazon uh, and also uh, let's see, Book Wizard, and that's on Scholastic's website. So what you want to do is choose five books that are your favorite book to read out loud to this age of learner. So just five different books that you really love to read out loud. You're going to pick one author and pick five of that author's books. Don't pick five authors. Pick one author and five books for that author. Then you're going to pick a theme. In the example uh, that I use for my curriculum alignment project, my theme is zoo. And so if I were doing my book list project, I could also use zoo and choose five books that are relevant to the theme of zoo. You can pick any theme you want that's appropriate for the age of learner you're working with. The fourth category is multicultural. So we want you looking at books that would uh, reflect the diversity of the students in your classroom and their age and pick five books that are multicultural. Last but not least, you're going to choose one content area. So you can choose math, science, social studies, or health. And you're going to choose one category and five books that will match that category. In my example, I choose math, and I pick five books I could use to teach math, but you can pick any of these categories. So that's your first task, finding that literature. Then you're going to go through the literature, and I'll show you in the example, but you're going to document whether it's fiction or nonfiction, and also list the author's name. And last but not least, if you're in the multicultural or the content area, you're going to share specifically what area that book would fall under. And I'll show you that in my example. So at the end of this project, you will have selected a total of 25 books, 20 from this side and five from this side. Then you're ready to move on to task two. In task two, you're going to choose one of the books from your list. Please do not choose a book that we have completed during the weekly literature sharing activity because I want you doing a book that's fresh. For your book, you're either going to summarize it if it's a fiction book or you're going to discuss the specific content in your summary and also the book organization if you choose a nonfiction book. Then you're going to basically do what we do for our weekly literature sharing where you're writing 10 or more ways to use this book across the curriculum. You're going to break it down for reading, writing, math, social sciences, and it really, I want you to think about those reading areas of phonics, word ID, comprehension, vocabulary, and fluency. But make sure you hit a variety of topics because you're going to list 10 ways to use this book. That's the project. Um, I want to show you though that it has, I have an example here for you. So for the book list, I have my favorite read aloud category and I would list five books. I would label fiction or nonfiction and the author. Then I pick one author. I pick Kevin Henke's and I have the title 
and label as fiction or nonfiction for each of the five books. My theme is zoo, and I have a book that would follow into that category, and you'll fill in four more. Also put the author and labeled fiction or nonfiction. For my multicultural category, I have Little Rojo Riding Hood, which is a Spanish fairy tale. And last but not least, I have math as my content area, and I would choose the doorbell rang. And the author is Pat Hutchins. And you can use that story to teach fractions, division, or addition. And this is important because when you look at that book list, you want to know how you can use that book for math, and you want to be able to look at that really quickly. We're moving on to then tops and bottoms. And in tops and bottoms, this is my summary book or my one book from the book list. And this is a fiction book. And I have a little picture. If you can add a picture in, that's always great so we get a visual. Because this is fiction, I wrote a summary of basically the story elements. And then I listed 12 ways, you only need 10, but 12 ways you could use this across the curriculum. So that is all you'll be doing with your own book. Uh, last but not least, uh, if you look at the rubric, you can see how it's broken down, but I want to point out that there is a reflection on this project, and I want to make sure that you're answering those reflection questions. Uh, if you have any questions on the project, let me know. It's a fun one. Take your time. Uh, you will be gathering the um, parts of this project over the course of the semester. So um, really make some trips to the library and find some great books out there.